Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, and I'm out on another walk on a, a February walk. It's the 1st of February as, I was, as I'm recording this. Oh no, it's not. Actually, it goes out on the 1st of February. It's the 31st of January. Just getting my facts wrong there, as ever. Anyway, um, I'm starting my walk crossing this rather lovely field here in West Grinstead in West Sussex. And the aim is to walk to West Grinstead, the village is about a mile across the fields here. And then, depending on how I feel, um, I may continue up towards Nep and the remains of the old hunting lodge, which is not very much left of uh, the Norman edifice that was um, constructed. So I parked my van in a lay-by right next to a bridge that crosses the um, Downslink railway, the old railway that was uh, taken up by the Beechings Cut. So, and I'm going to cross the fields. I'm wondering whether I should have put my gaiters on, my new gaiters, but because uh, I was thinking we've had a lot of rain and hoping that there's not too much water on the fields, but it seems okay at the moment. So uh, we're going to have a look at some of the landscape, the heritage, and of course any nature that we spot en route. It's interesting because I'm walking first to the church at West Grinstead and we'll pass that. And I'm going across these, these fields as you can see. Of course, these old footpaths most likely originated because the agricultural workers, the people on the fields doing the haymaking, doing the ploughing, the tilling, digging ditches, keeping the hedges um, up to spec, would of course have used these pathways, caused these pathways um, and maintain these pathways because they would be going to church regularly and uh, sometimes we forget that that's how these things came about, many of them. The churches would have been a uh, destination. I mean, going right back, you know, Saxon times and possibly before to these religious points. There's a gate here that's been left open. The only thing is, it has to be left open because there's no way of actually fixing this. Unless I can very cleverly No. I tried. walking up through a, a lovely little wooded area at the moment here, which is rather lovely. I'm not sure that I can uh, go and explore it because often, you know, these footpaths just cross through these areas, so it's probably private land. A little bit boggy in places. But uh, going past a little gully and I notice there's a little bit of a lake to the left. Right, this field is soaking. It's, the water is just sitting on the mud. These boots that I have leak, <laughs> so I've got wet feet. I need to invest, I need to invest. This part of the weald is muddy and Sussex, of course, was known for its tall women quite why it was just the women 
but apparently the women were tall because their feet got stuck in the in the mud and as a result they extended themselves just trying to pull their feet out of the cloying mud so this isn't so much fun but uh, if I just turn the camera around we sort of get to see there's a lovely little horse just here but behind that we'll see in the far distance now I haven't got a long lens for this particular camera unfortunately it's something I need to invest in um, but we have the South Downs just behind me about 10 miles or so down the way there and Chantonbury Ring is dead opposite I was walking that way only the other day so uh, it's amazing how the scenery can change in such a short space of time or distance even Well, that was lovely met this wonderful horse who was in a very small little field with you know not much grass because it's winter I suppose it's a bit of a shame I don't know that was very muddy I don't know how the horses cope with all that mud but I suppose they uh, are I was gonna say designed for it but uh, they've grown up with mud hence their hooves I suppose but that was rather delightful now I'm rather surprised that my walk actually the footpath that I thought I thought I was going to be s arrive at West Grinstead Church from the south I've just spotted it over in that direction can't see it now um, and I'm to the north of it so maybe too busy talking to uh, the camera and you guys and girls that uh, perhaps I've gone slightly wrong but anyway I'll still get to the church one way or another I hope and it may be just coming up to a road here so it may be that I go down here possibly signs around here saying keep to the footpath uh, which I will of course so I think they don't want me to go down this way so we have got to go over here <laughs> Thank you. 
I forgot it was Sunday. As people have come to the church, you can hear the bells there, or the bell chiming in the background. Quite a full car park, actually. So my, I'm slightly baffled by my walk, and I haven't as yet looked at the map, but I thought I was coming to the south, but maybe um, my walk would continue across the fields that are just behind me here. But I'm not sure that I'm going to continue. It's so boggy and the ground is so messy. My feet are so wet and my, I should have put my um, gaiters on. And I think what I will do is I shall walk back um, across uh, along the road back to where I parked the van for the ease of it although of course it's very dangerous doing that when you've got uh, vehicles coming along and just walking down an ancient path now I've made a video here um, at West Chiltington Church what am I talking about West Grinstead Church West Chiltington Church is a completely different one I've made a video about that of course um, and I will naturally link to that. Actually, here is where I thought I was coming in. Ah, it's all beginning to make sense. It's very easy to sort of get a bit misconceived. You'll see here, that is the, uh, the route that I thought I was going to be coming in on because I was convinced when I looked at the map that I would be south of the church, but no matter, I've seen some lovely animals en route. In the video on West Grinstead, this route that I'm just doing here, you'll see that it comes up to the river, I think it's the River Ada. And if I've got that wrong, I'll, uh, I'll bung it on the screen. And it's here that presumably the materials, the stone, for the boats would have been brought up. It would have been a much wider river back in those days. And um, you could just about get the, the barges in um, back in the, you know, the sort of Norman times when the original churches were being uh, built. And it's now sort of much smaller little tributary, I guess. But there are churches strung along this, uh, this river, which suggests they all did a very similar thing. Brought the barges in, brought the materials and built the churches, which I guess makes perfect sense. Right, well, I'm gonna end the walk here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I will come back, I think, in the summer when the ground is, or in the spring even, uh, when the ground is a little bit easier to um, traverse. But um, I wonder if there's some walks along, along the river would be, rather, would be rather ideal. But I'm going to head back now. I'm going to um, go back probably along the road, I think. Or, or I may just look at my map to see if the other route is navigable. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow, like and subscribe. Become a patron, support what I do. And I'll continue to get out and about and bring you these uh, landscape heritage and nature videos. Till the next time, thanks for watching. Bye bye.